Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you a distinguished community leader, a proud FIU alumnus, and a visionary in his field. He is John McKibben, chairman of the McKibben Hotel Group, Inc. As the third generation of his family to lead the company, John oversaw the evolution and expansion of the McKibben Hotel Group through development projects with Marriott, Marriott Hilton, and Starwood. He is past, past president of the Courtyard by Marriott Franchise Council and the Residence Inn by Marriott Association. John also formed and currently serves as chairman of the McKibben Hotel Management and M3 Accounting plus Analytics, an internet-based software provider. He's on various community boards, including Tampa, Florida, in Tampa, Florida, including the Florida Health Services Center. And he's also a member of the Dean's Advisory Council of the FIU Chaplain School of Hospitality and Tourism Management. In 2009, he was honored with the FIU Medallion for Outstanding Alumnus because, you see, he too is a graduate of our FIU School of Hospitality. So please join me in giving a warm welcome to Mr. John McKibben. Thank you, President <coughs> Rosenberg, and congratulations to the class of 2016. And I just want to say, to graduate, just to graduate, is a major accomplishment. But you know, even some of you have graduated cum laude, right? You cum laude, yeah? And even some magna cum laude, right? A few of those? And even a few summa cum laude, right? Whoa! I'll just have to tell you, I graduated, thank you, Lottie. <laughs> and nobody was more surprised than my professor, Rocco Angelo. But uh, even though you've got your whole life in front of you, time goes by very quickly. It's hard to believe that I was sitting right where you were 40 years ago. Well, actually, I'm embarrassed to say I did not go to my comm commencement ceremony. I went to Grand Cayman Islands to go scuba diving. <clears throat> so... <laughs> So this is my penance for, for not attending. But uh, uh, anyway, I am grateful to FIU. I mean, what a great school. I actually started at a different university, but after two quarters, I realized that was not the place for me. My dad lived in Fort Lauderdale and heard about this brand new university, and they had a hotel school. And boy, they really needed students badly. That's how I got in. <clears throat> but actually, uh, my past performance was not so much my aptitude, but it was my attitude. And at FIU, I found that uh, the professors there were chosen not just for their teaching skills, but for their knowledge and successes in the real world. I found myself learning under professors who were not only experts in their field, but truly cared about the success of the students and their future career as they still do today. And under these conditions, I had a changed attitude and a changed aptitude. My professors love their jobs. They kept my attention. So do you. Whatever you choose to do in this world, love your job. And you'll be able to motivate others. Find a job, find an employer that makes you want to get up and go to work every day. Whatever career path you follow, try to get a little better at what you do every single day. Never get stagnant or comfortable in your ways. Today, there are more disruptive forces than ever. Look at the ride-sharing companies, Uber, Lyft. A year ago, they provided more rides than all the taxis put together. I mean, that's hard to believe. And they even this year, they even surpassed rental cars. How did this happen? Because these old established industries chose not to change their ways. Elon Musk and Tesla, they've done the same thing with electric cars. I mean, Musk had no exper experience in the automobile industry, yet he developed the best car ever made. And you know what? It's electric, too. And even Amazon, how they've changed the retail business. You even see disruption in politics. Boy, aren't we seeing that right now. Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders have the establishment shaking in their boots more than ever, more than ever since the 60s. I just got to ask you, how did my hippie generation turn into the establishment? How did that happen? But you see, uh, 
tens of millions of dollars spent on TV ads, and guess what? They're not working because most of you are watching Netflix and Hulu anyway, and you debate issues on social media. But a good example is a powerful video that's getting several hundred views a day. Look up Lynn Patton on YouTube. Excellent video. But all of this disruption <clears throat> creates a great opportunity for you to make an impact on the world. Maybe you'll develop the next great app or the next cure or a few hoteliers. Maybe you'll finally figure out how to beat the online travel agencies. Wow. Uh, <clears throat> but, uh, you know, true success is not measured in how wealthy you become or what title you rise to, but it's how you've treated others. Because the best way to have an impact on this world is to start with the people you can influence, that you can be a mentor to. Some of you are going to be, be teachers, so be a teacher that impacts your students. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, be, a, be a teacher where students cannot wait to go to their classes every day. Yeah. I can remember my fifth grade teacher, Miss McConnell, and I can also remember Tony Marshall from FIU that they're still talking about his classes today. He was an amazing, amazing teacher. Uh, but be a leader and be the best. The best kind of leader is one with a servant attitude who truly cares about the people around them. You know, a person feels appreciated and will always, uh, excuse me, a person who feels appreciated will always do more than expected. But do unto others. Put yourself in their place. Whenever I negotiate a deal, I put myself on the other side to see what it feels like. Any deal I do has got to be a win-win, a win for me and a win for the other side. That's how you build long-lasting relationships. And nothing is more important in leadership than integrity. It takes years to build, but it can vanish in a moment. When someone walks through the door and is trustworthy, they have enormous power. Mark Twain said, do the right thing. It will gratify some people, and it will astonish the rest. <laughs> but never give up on something you believe in. The big wins in my career took years of focus. And I don't kid myself, timing and luck certainly play a part. My first big opportunity came, and I didn't really have the experience, and therefore the vision to see it. And I missed the greatest opportunity of my career. Fortunately, eight years later, I had a similar opportunity. But at that time, as it happened, uh, I made a decision. And the decision only took 15 minutes, which changed my career forever. I saw it. I ran with it. And my company changed from one that was barely making payroll to what it is today. So as you enter the workforce, you'll be building up experience in your field that <clears throat> will be critical to your future opportunities. So starting today, you should do everything you can to be excellent at whatever you do. Be persistent in proving your skills a little each day, preparing for that special moment that might occur during your career. My moment created success that has been financially rewarding to me. But at the end of the day, it's not about the money. It's about the people you meet along the way. The scriptures tell us not to put our trust in money, but to be rich in good works, to be generous, and to be ready to share with others. So while getting to the top is great, one day you'll have to ask yourself, as I climb this ladder and look back on my career, did I leave people who helped me in my path, or did I lift them up with me? So along that line, have an attitude of giving. You are talented, so give of your time and your resources. And you'll find that giving creates a blessing, not only for the recipient, but for the giver. Start today, no matter how small. So this may be the most exciting time ever with all the great changes in technology. Get yourself in the middle of it and have fun. So to Rocco Angelo, all my professors, and all those at FIU who helped me along the way, I say thank you. Congratulations to the class of 2016. May God bless you many, with many exciting and successful years. Thank you.